You could say Cindy Detlin has been around the block. Over the past 36 years, she has drove school buses here in the community. We are the first person our kids see in the morning, besides your parents. We're the last person of the school day they see. Sometimes we're nurses and doctors and sometimes we're counselors and sometimes we're referees, you know. So it's a very social job. Um, I love it. I have watched two generations grow up and kids that rode my bus before introducing me to their kid wives and kids. Detlin has deep roots in the Peace region. Her grandparents moved to the area during the Great War, and she was born and raised here where she has raised her family, including her grandchildren. There have been six generations of her family living here in Fort St. John. Earlier this year, Detlin received the Mayor's Citizen of the Year Award for her initiative to see fines increased province-wide for drivers who failed to stop for school buses with their lights on. It was a very positive experience for me, not just because of the outcome, which was obviously very good, um, but just in dealing with different levels of um, politics. And now she's ready to fill Dan Davies' spot on city council as she joins six other candidates who are running in next month's by-election. I have people every day, though, since I put my name in the hat and before around coffee tables, saying to me, Fort St. John needs to attract more business. We don't have anywhere to shop. We have this, we have that. And they're of the opinion that Dawson Creek's open for business sign is larger than ours. You know, like, why is Dawson getting this and we're not? And I know there's answers out there, and I'd love to find those answers for them. They may be already in the works, but a lot of us aren't aware of that, so I'd, I'd love to do some digging. The first advanced poll will be held on August 31st, then the second advanced poll is set for September 6th. General voting day is on September 9th. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.